Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Let's check out a new In Flames song. This is called The Great Deceiver. It's the lyric video for that. So a few weeks ago, they dropped their song, uh, Stay to Slow Decay, which was really good. It kind of gave me old school In Flames vibes. It was um, heavy and thrashy and melodic, had um, a bunch of guitar harmonies, guitar solos, uh, some really awesome vocals. It was just a great track overall. So I'm just expecting more of that from The Great Deceiver. Before we jump into the video though, I've got a quote from the band here that kind of gives a little bit of uh, like meaning to the song or whatever, like what it's about. Uh, so it says, The Great Deceiver was born out of frustration, basically a reaction to false flags. But, then, uh, but since then it has grown to represent several meanings. There's a line that says, bend the truth to fit your opinion. And we feel that speaks a lot to the narrative happening online between people and nations, etc. today. We are more apart now than ever before, yet it's easier to communicate than in any other time in history. That is 100% true, in my opinion. 100% true. Bend the truth to fit your opinion. That That is, <clears throat> no matter what political side you're on, I don't like I don't like the labels that we throw on each other, liberal, Demo or liberal uh, conservative, Democrat, Republican, whatever. Whatever side you're on, um, it, it's like everybody's to the max, like 100% to the max. And no matter what the facts are, everybody's got their own like agenda and they just twist the facts to fit what they already think. And it's just, it's just a fucking mess. And how, where they say uh, we're more apart now that we're more apart now than ever before, yet it's easier to communicate than any other time in history. That's a hundred percent true. Like you can jump, you can get on your phone, you can get on social media, whatever, and and talk to someone across the world, like on another continent, and like like that. It's super, it's super easy, and everybody just wants to spend their time bitching at each other, arguing with strangers in comment sections, and like you you literally have unlimited knowledge, like in your hand. You, if you want to know something, Google it. Just fucking look it up. And instead, like I said, we, we just spend our time arguing with complete strangers on the internet. Why? Like it just, it doesn't do anything but spread hate and divide people more based on these fucking labels that we throw on each other. And it's just ridiculous. But anyway, I'm not going to get off. I don't want to get off too much on a tangent there. Cause I, it's something that I, I really feel strongly about. I could sit here and talk about it for hours and ramble on, but that's not why you guys are here. You guys are here to hear some fucking metal, so let's get into it. This is The Great Deceiver by In Flames. Let's go. All right, right out of the gate. So the lyrics are kind of already jumping out at me. So it said uh, a two year break to reset our brains, to ob obviously talking about COVID and lockdown, quarantine, all that stuff. Uh, and it says times are changing for the worse. We're all cursed. It's like, it's like everybody went into lockdown mode and to, I guess, supposedly to just kind of like disconnect for a little while and like get away from all the noise and bullshit of like, other people <laughs> like outside, but it's like we, we, we come out of lockdown and everything's fucking worse. Everything <laughs> it's just as bad or worse. It's, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's not good. We're not in a good place right now at all. And that, that's, uh, the lyrics are, are definitely true.
loving the guitar work so far. Ooh. That literally just said, all right, Joey was right. This is the final countdown. <laughs> Joey from, uh, from Europe, the, the singer, the lead singer from Europe, the final countdown. It's the final countdown. <laughs> what a reference. Holy shit. Mankind, mankind too unkind to be renowned. I feel like that's true too. Solo going on. Nice. Damn, that sounds good. Oh, right back to it. <laughs> I thought we were bringing it down for a little while. Great Deceiver by In Flames. Damn, that was, man, that was like so riffy. I love that. The guitar work was awesome during that. Uh, I mean, it was like riff after riff after riff. Solos. Uh, well, the solo was kind of short, but it was melodic. It, I mean, it's In Flames. It was, it was super melodic. Uh, it was harmonized. Um, there was some like, it sounded like some really, really cool like tapping section going on like during the chorus. Um, Sounded awesome. And the riffs sound great. Harmonies sound great. Vocals are awesome. I think I like this one a little bit more than State of Slow Decay. Uh, of course, State of Slow Decay was like heavy. Like, it seems like it was heavier, but this one was just more like riffy and fun. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, like the whole time. I just, I just liked it. This one seemed a little more dynamic, I guess, because it, it changed up constantly. Like the transitions were all over the place, and but very nice. I like how they brought it down, and they kind of tricked me with that. They brought it down uh, towards the end there, and uh, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So we're gonna get like a slower section, whatever, more mellow section, maybe another like little uh, guitar solo, like mellow guitar solo or whatever, and then boom, right back into it. That was cool. It kind of threw me for a loop. I like that. The uh, the subject matter of the lyrics are dark and depressing, um, and like pretty hopeless, honestly. Uh, but I, I mean, like I said, like I said, it's 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 true. Just from that that quote I read at the beginning of the video, it's it's true. I mean, uh, like everything on social media is is a hundred percent like to the extreme. Whether you're left, whether you're right, or you whatever, like it doesn't matter. Like, and it's just people. It's like echo chambers. It's just people regurgitating what they've already been told. In my opinion facts should change your way of thinking. If you're presented, if you like, if you believe something and you're presented with facts that contradict what you believe, but they're like, but it, it's good evidence to contradict what you believe. Uh, like it's legit. Your way of thinking should change, but that's not the way it works. That's not the way in general people work, at least on social media in the comment sections. It's, 
no, I already believe this, so I don't care what you present to me as facts to contradict that. It doesn't matter. I'm going to I'm going to twist those facts to fit fit my opinion. Exactly what the exactly what the song says. And that's you see it. Like if you I mean you get on Facebook, TikTok, fucking YouTube, whatever for more than 30 seconds and jump in a comment section and that's exactly what you're going to see. You can't even have a conversation. You can't even have like a civil debate with anyone. Like there there's no agreeing to disagree on, on on social media. There's there's none of that. Fuck that. No. If I disagree with you, fuck you. I I hope you die. You're the fuck you're a fucking piece of shit. Like that's just that's how people are on, on, on in comment sections. It's really it's really depressing and uh really frustrating and annoying and uh, that's just what that's just what we've devolved into is just caricatures of Opinions, I guess, like generalizations of whole groups of people based on like one or two interactions with people from that group. And like you just can't have a conversation with people. You, ha- you, you start to disagree, disagree with someone and then the conversation devolves into personal attacks and name calling. And you, I mean, you can't. You can't discuss anything civilly like that. No one's going to ever change their opinion or change their way of thinking or admit that they're wrong. Like, oh, no, we can't fucking do that. We could never admit that we're wrong. And, <laughs> it, and it leads to I feel like the state of the world that we're in now where everyone's just angry and miserable. I personally feel like there's so much more good in the world than there is bad, but the bad is just so amplified that it's hard to, it's hard to see that. It's hard to see that sometimes. Um, and this is, I feel like this song is just a good, good, like, um, take on that, I guess the st- the state of the world that, that we're in right now. I feel like it expresses that nicely with some awesome metal behind it. I mean, it's like, that's the best way to do it, right? That if you have this message, this dark, like hopeless message or whatever, put it in music. That's what makes music so awesome. And I can get off on another tangent on that. I'm not, I I feel like I've already rambled on enough and more than half of y'all probably already, probably already skipped off the video and (laughs) and not made it to this point yet. Uh, But that's what makes music so great is you can take any kind of message and fit it into a song and, and get that message out to people and uh, get people thinking. So, uh, but anyway, great deceiver in flames. You guys let me know, uh, what you thought of the song down in the comments. And, uh, I'm, I appreciate you hanging out with me, checking out the new song and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.